Okay, Kev, so let's start with looking ahead to Luton at the weekend. How's your team feeling ahead of the game? Yeah, they're looking very, very bright in training. Um, they're really up for the game. Um, obviously, it's our second local derby in two weeks. Um, the result wasn't quite what we wanted last week, obviously, and um, we want to get a response from that. And, and they'll be, they'll be, like I said, they'll be fully up for the game without a shadow of a doubt. Last week's result, like I said, there wasn't that much in in the two teams. So how then are you going to prepare our side this week to go ahead and take? Well, it's a similar team? setup. Luton, Luton are a good side on the day. Same as Stephen. Stephen, Stephen, just prior to playing us, had just won seven on the bounce at home. The top scorers by far in the league, and we've limited them to to a deflected shot. Now we need to be better on the ball as well going forward. We need to take our chances and be better in possession as well. Um, so we'll be working on that this week. But Luton are a good side, a free-flowing side. Um, play with two different shapes. Um, within a game, they can change quite quickly. So we're aware of that. Um, and like I say, Nathan Jones is, and Paul Hart and his staff have done a fantastic job there. I mean, Nathan was in there last season. I think he had 21 games last season um, to try and get to see what was needed to get it, to get the club sorted out and get the culture of what he wanted. Um, and it's only really been turned around in this summer period we could get the players in um, that was going to help him build to what he's got now. So they're, they're, they're a good side, there's no doubt about that and he's a good coach uh, and turning into a very good manager as well. Um, and the league table doesn't lie at this stage, but what I would say is that over the past six games they've only picked up one more point than us. So we're looking at a tight game. When you said they can operate in two different shapes during the game, are we prepared for that? Are we prepared for those changes if they do decide to do that? Yes. Um, when it comes to it being a local derby, what does it mean to the players? What does it mean to you to get those? those oh, it means everything. It's like I say, you have to you have to play with with your with your heart, but with your head as well. And, and like I say, last week that's what was so disappointing because we felt that we had to nullify them and how they played. And and I'd just seen them a week or so previously against Portsmouth, and they beat them three 0 and it could have been six. And, and we didn't let them do that to us, but we needed to be better in in possession, um, maybe create a few more chances. So, so we'll be looking at that side of our games as well, and that, you know, whether that's team selection, whether that's slight tactically as well. But it means everything to the players. It means, I mean, no, no nobody was more disappointed than me after after the weekend. Um, but you have to go again. That's the nature of football. How are we looking on the injury front, Kev? Have we got an update of players that are coming back, players that are getting back to full fitness? Yes, we've got a few come back now. I'm really pleased with that. Obviously, obviously, uh, Ryan Watson, he was out last week. It was a late one. He, he had a bit of a swollen knee and we didn't know to the, how serious that was, but he, he's done his cartilage. Um, so we're waiting to find out how that is. Um, we've got players coming back, which is good. Pearson's just had 60 minutes in a game against Wolves on Tuesday that was specially uh, set up for him and Jack Taylor, uh, who's had 45 minutes as well. So they're coming back. I can't rush them. Too, too quickly for their own health um, but certainly we'll be looking to get them back in again and, and we'll be looking as well we've had a meeting with obviously James Forms just come into it now as well and we've got Ross here and we've had a, we've had a chat the chairman and all of us uh, about making sure we try to go out to win all the games this season as much as we can now but with one eye on on next season as well we're giving a few of the young lads maybe a, a crack at it uh, something that I, I'd do anyway, you've seen it with, with young Shane, um, he came out of nowhere uh, and I've put him in the side and unfortunately broke his arm. Um, but that'll be, that'll be a route we're going to be going down as well and you know, have a look, see if these players can do it, you know, for next season. Now whether that's me or whoever's here, but what, what, what we need to do is make sure that anything we do here is for the good of Barnet Football Club, which I've tried to do from the moment I've walked through the door. Um, so we'll be looking along them lines of in, over these six games we're trying to win every game but possibly looking at next season as well So like you said there six games left in this campaign but we're looking to the bigger picture why is it important why is it important to start building now for, for the future well you have, to, you have to do that you have to see you know, some of the young lads think okay, can, they, can they be ready it, it will affect recruitment in the summer it will affect whose contracts are expiring what we need in the building and like I say you know, Nathan Jones had the 21 games last season to sort that, but he had, a, he had a, obviously this year to do it as well. Um, Darren Ferguson's a, a classic, he had 37 games last season, he'd end up going down. But look at where they are now at Doncaster, because he cleared it out and he got it sorted of how he wanted to play. Um, so it's important for, for Barnet Football Club, not for me, it's important for Barnet Football Club um, that, that we've got a... Who, 
that we've got an idea of what's available and of what's standard in the summer. Because it takes time, doesn't it, to build? Like you said, there, there has to be a transitional period, doesn't there, when you're blooding your youth, you're getting them into the first team. And that takes time, doesn't it, to get them match minutes, get them time on the pitch? No, it does, yeah. And you need to see what they're like under pressure. Because all, all players can go and play a training game and look excellent. But when you're under pressure, and we've seen it a few times ourselves, when things are not going quite right and people are screaming and shouting from, from the terraces, it's how, who can handle that? And, and that's what we need to see. What kind of mentality do you need to have if you're a former player yourself? So when the fans maybe are restless in the terraces, what mentality do you need to have to stay focused? You know, say with 30 minutes to go, you're 1-0 down. What mindset do you need you to need, have? You need to be mentally strong. Firstly, you need to keep wanting the ball, and you need the main thing. You need to be able to make them right decisions, um, because, like I say, it's easy to make right decisions when the, when when it's a practice match. But when it's out there in the heat of the moment, the heat of the battle, you need to be strong, and you and you need to make the majority of your decisions the best, the the, the correct decisions. And and like I say, and and you know, people are um, myself getting a bit of stick, um, but you know, I'd rather I'd rather be me getting it than some of the players. Because at least they can then hopefully go out and perform as well. As you've mentioned before, you've got you came here to Barnet with a game plan and you're sticking to it. So are we right in saying the last six games we're going to continue playing in the same way because that's what we believe in? Yeah, well, I mean, we we set up a quite a solid structure and all the games we've been beat have been one nils. Um, but I was, I'll be looking for a little bit more quality in possession. That's certainly, and that's not to say we haven't worked on that previously. But I, I want, I'd like to see some more quality in possession. So, looking immediately to this weekend's games, Luton, what do you expect from your side? What do you want to see your side do this weekend? Out there? Well, firstly, you work harder than them. It's a local derby. Work harder than them. And that's one, when we put a game like one of the things is work harder than them. And, and for the majority of games, we've done that. Um, so, that, that's, that's my number one. Um, and then I want, to, I want to compete with them in every aspect, right through the pitch, from number one to 11. Just keep competing. Um, and and show, us, show us what we got in terms of in-possession. Can we create chances? Um, can we make an exciting game for the fans that they go home happy?